Before we get into the video, I just wanted to mention my sponsor, Simply Safe. It's incredibly effective, reliable home security that will make sure your home is safe. But hey, guess what? You don't have to use it at your home. You can also use it at your small business. I use Simply Safe at my skate shop, meaning it's professionally monitored 24/7. If anything happens, they'll make sure police get called. Simply Safe is really easy and intuitive to use. They have some really thoughtful features like sensors to cover every single window and door in my business. They have fair and honest prices and it's equipped for the worst case scenarios, meaning the system will still work if you lose power or Wi-Fi. I was interested in using Simply Safe at my shop because, well, I use it at my home and it works really well. We use several different kinds of sensors in the shop that would alert us if anyone was to break in. One of my favorite features is the noise the base station makes when a customer walks in. If you are interested in your own Simply Safe system, please check out simplysafe.com slash donut operator. You can find the link in the comments and description below. Here we go. Pulls up on the kid, a teenager, who had illegally pulled someone over. <laughs> He's wearing like blue jeans with a polo tucked in. He's got red and white lights. No blue lights whatsoever. <laughs> It's, is the cop sneaking up on him? This is a, yeah, this is a felony. He's wearing like a belt with the little holes in it. No gun, not like he's not he's not even wearing like police stuff. The cringe is super real already. Oh no, he's got a little badge. Do you see that? He's got a little badge right there when he turns around. The cop knows. He knows already. Like, <sighs> oh no! He said he works for the sheriff's department. Why does he think he can get away with that? Like already, if he bought all this sh pulling people over, he should know that. Like at least he cannot get away with this. Like. Cell phones don't exist. They can't call the sheriff's department and be like, this guy worked for you. Not that, you know, you can't tell. He doesn't work for anyone. I, I know. I'm under-equipped. Okay, because normally you do... If you're... Panicking. I'm under-equipped. <laughs> yeah, if you're a man, if you're making a traffic stop, you're just, just going to have to stop it. All right? Are you... What do you, you say you work for where are the sheriffs? Yes, sir. Do you have an ID with you? This guy definitely watches my videos, by the way. This is all I got on I me. Mean, like I said, I'm under, I'm under equipped. I was just heading over there to the courthouse. To the courthouse for what? To get my crap. Okay. I know, it makes no sense. I caught him going 120 down I-40. Okay. Why do you have lights on this vehicle? Personal. I, I know. Do you have an ID with you at all? No, I keep like my uniform. Okay. Hey, I was going to get my crap. Oh Christ! What what cop would be that nervous with another cop pulling up? A unit and see if there is a BCSO supervisor that can come to my twenty. Oh, he requested a sheriff's department supervisor to come to the traffic stop to confirm. So you're probably thinking right now, like this person is either not a cop or they're. A boot and they're doing a bunch of stupid shit right now oh he's standing at parade rest right now <laughs> oh i didn't even notice that the other car drove off for sure rotc 100 <laughs> percent it's and i'm not here to mess with you man it's just the thing is yeah, he was speeding, dude. You could have called it in. And. Because if you get into shooting, you're, you're speeding. Right. All right, man. There's no telling how many times he's done this. And, like, what if he actually pulled over a hard motherfucker that just pulled a gun out and shot him? You know, he's not wearing a vest. He's not wearing any. He's not wearing anything. He's got a studded belt and Air Force hat on. Yeah. <laughs> Noxer said the other car was like, I'm going to just go ahead and leave. <laughs> I, I understand. All right. uh, it, this. For starters, I know this looks really bad. Right. This looks really bad. Uh, s screams whacker. Right. How long you been on? About three years. Okay. 
I've been on for like 13 years. All right, so. Dude, he's just, he's just, he's just digging that hole. Oh, man. I've been on for like 13 years. All right, so. <laughs> he goes. <laughs> Put the shovel down. That's it. All right. Once we once we're done here, um, we're done. All right. So just give me a bit. All right. He went full sheepdog, dude. Jeeves, you're more of a cop than he is, bud. It was whacker. I'm just start using that term so much now. Anytime anything's foobar or you know a soup sandwich, I'm just gonna say whacker. This video, like <laughs> my next shooting video, that's just nutty. I'm gonna be like, this video is straight whacker. I should get a t-shirt that says Whacker on it, and it shows his face when he goes. He should have stayed home and Whackered. Um, in the meanwhile, man, until I get somebody out here, man, do me a favor. I'm not going to handcuff you, but I'm going to have you sit in, back, in the back of my car, all right? All right. Do you have anything <laughs> you, man? Any weapons or anything? Keys. Okay. Um, Keys wallet. That's fine. Just have a seat, all right? All right. Try to get, get everything third up, man. Um, just have a seat. The kid's even trying to, like, sound irritated about being put in the back of the car. Like, I'm another cop. Do you hear him? He's like, all right. <laughs> that was definitely the officer on his cell phone in his group chat with all his buddies who were working that shift and probably some of his deputy buddies from around there. And he's like, this stupid mother f I just, I just got out on. <laughs> they're, they're texting back. They're like, there's no way. He stood at parade rest. <laughs> Born in 2001. Yeah, the closed captioning is sh He said, if you want to come with me, we're going to handcuff him. But the subtitles said, she was embassy with an actress. So right now, he's not hanker plays, okay? <laughs> what, what is this shit? This closed captioning is garbage. They... Do you know? Do you know why he shut his uh, his body cam off right there, so that they could go back and make fun of him before they had to be serious again? At this point, right now, you are being under arrest. You understand? Okay. Did he just say you are being under arrest? Damn, dude, he's got them old school jeans too. Look, it's got the little the little tab right there for a hammer, and then he's got the studded bell. Brandon, come on, man. I don't, actually don't know what that's for. I would think it's for a hammer, right? That's a hammer loop, right? I feel like I heard that somewhere when I was a kid. I thought it was super cool to wear them because, like, if I was ever using a hammer, which I did like three times as a child, I could put my hammer there. Oh, that's super funny. So he turned his body cam off. Yeah. After they put him in the car. Remember when I said they just went dark because they're making fun of the kid? What's the first thing that happens before the sound starts playing when they turn their body cameras back on? Watch. <laughs> they're laughing at him. That's, that's whackers, man. <laughs> they're ragging on him so hard right now. <laughs> New drinking game. Take a shot every time closed captioning says applause. It's finding a lot of a lot of shit that we should be clapping at on this. <laughs> it's like he's crying because he just got arrested. <laughs> hey, with the handcuffs on, he's at parade rest, so you know he's not supposed to be talking, right? You know how that works. <clears throat> you got this online, Brandon? Yes. Here in your laps in Britain, who's that ski? What's your lesson, Lazinski? Lazitsky? Oh my god, even you spelled it wrong. How, how do you spell Wazinski? Did you? Oh my god, even use Dr. Ron Patty Scoo in Inscape, did you go? It's a, it's a limerick. I've been working on it. <laughs> Is Inscape, did you go ahead, lie, sigh? Okay, never mind. You got it right. You got it right. Well, thank you all. Hold on. You mind if I call 
call my wife and tell her I'm not coming home tonight. Wife. Pillow. Hold on. Look at look at the closed caption right here, though. <laughs> Any decisions these gentlemen make, make it galang tag. Give us a sec call. <laughs> it's gonna be a decision these gentlemen make. If you hang yeah, give us a little a bit, all right, okay. Oh yeah, they're back booking him now. All right, Brandon. I'm gonna take off the seatbelt. Come on out. Feet first. It's just easier that way. Get first. We'll get your head in a little bit. Charlie, do you want to step out? We'll get it right now. Don't worry about it. I'll have somebody pick it up right now. You know what? They would have shot him if he pulled a gun on them. <laughs> That's really whacker. <laughs> what? What a time to apply. Okay. Um, can you just tell me from the beginning what happened? There's one tonight coming. <laughs> Before I approached you, um, I was going to work. I caught this guy flying down the highway at 120. Mm -hmm. Where Where do you work at? I work at Albuquerque Courtesy and Parking. Courtesy and Parking? Mm -hmm. Is that for the city or who do you live for? It's a security company. Okay. And say that again. The oh. 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 Security. Okay. I, sh I should have known. How fast the other car was going? Uh, trailed behind him. Okay. And then what happened when you saw... Brandon, come on, man. You paced him. Get it right. Don't you want to be a cop one day? <laughs> I'm going that fast. Was it on the freeway, on the street? Freeway. Okay, then what happened? Flashed my lights, pulled him over. Okay. When I made contact with you, I noticed you had a badge. Who? Where'd you get that badge from? Belongs to your dad. When, when was well, he? Well, it, it did. It did. Is he? Is he still around, or did he pass away? Well, he was killed. Oh, he was killed. Okay. When was he killed? About five, six years ago. Okay. When did he leave the department? He didn't leave. He was killed night of duty. Oh, was he now? Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, and that just brought he, the mood down. For, oh, he's lying about his dad. Are you serious, man? They proved it? Oh, f*** him. What a piece of shit. That's really f up, man. I felt kind of bad there for a second. Like, they proved he lied about that? That's f*** man. That's really, that's, that's a super, 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 super garbage thing to do. So he's kind of a pathological liar then? F retracted. Guys, take back your Fs in chat. Please, right now. The complaint alleges the suspect told officer the badge was his late father's so BSCO officer. The investigating officers later learned there was no one with that last name ever employed with the department. Wazinski later admitted that he bought the real but outdated badge online. F him. I felt bad a little bit. I, you know, I even felt bad before he said that just a little bit because I was like, this is just a stupid fucking kid. Now, I don't feel bad about anything we said about him. Does he have a wife? Does he even have that? This is totally whacker case right here. What a whacker situation. <laughs> Wait, is he human? Is he one of our reptilian overlords? Is he actually report of the day? Here we go. Dude, the McRib is back. What a garbage sandwich. Just like the video? Oh, f you. Look, I'm gonna like that bitch hard as I can. Iran meat tour. Oh, yeah, I've seen this porno before. Iran meat tour. Where we've evolved. Where this, where, guess, guess, where this stream has evolved into what it's turned into. We're watching cooking videos. Hey, man, this is going to be an awesome, awesome stream. We're going to watch Grandpa's Kitchen. What are we doing? Oh, Grandpa. Grandpa's never died. All right, what's Grandpa been up to these days? Hopefully, not cooking more disgusting ass stuff. Grandpa, a lot. <gasps> What? He did a live video. No.
fucking way. Damn, I wish they would have collaborated with me on that Grandpa t-shirt idea I had. All right, what's Grandpa been doing lately? Oh, Grandpa's not even in the thumbnail. I'm sorry. Who the f*** is that? Pretty f***ing terrible that Grandpa's not standing there right now. Is, is Grandpa, like, behind the tree back there? Is he, like, hiding in the bushes? I'm sorry. What's this channel called? It's Plain, Plain's Day right there. Grandpa Kitchen. Not Grandpa's Grandson Kitchen. Oh, I bet that's why they streamed out of nowhere. That's what happened. Okay, so this this one, and then there's another one to the right of it. So they posted two, or three. They posted three videos without Grandpa, and people were probably freaking out. So they did like a three minute live stream with Grandpa. Grandpa got food poisoning? Someone said in chat, Grandpa cannot get food poisoning. He is immune to food poisoning at this point. Did you not know that, you dumb idiot? Have you not watched Grandpa's Kitchen before? Let's Do you know what this man cooks and in rolls. what conditions he cooks in? Grandpa get food poisoning. That's a whacker. It just does not Onions. feel the same. You know what they could have done? They could have at least had Grandpa read the ingredients off and then dub that in. Or buy a new Grandpa. Idiots. The English isn't broken enough. It's not as, like, grandpa -y. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have that magic to it, that grandpa magic. Way better than uncle magic, by the way. Stay away from the uncle magic. I don't know. I don't like this. And I'm hungry. So, I need to go ice my knee and probably play the new Zelda game. Zelda's ass? Why don't you go f*** yourself? Somebody ban that person. I grew up on that Zelda game, all right? And they made it into a much prettier game. F*** you. <laughs> Got him. Straight whack.